Hey crafty friends, thank you very much for joining me this week. This is Anat Kessler with Saturday Mix Travaganza. And today I'm going to create a double canvas set. That would be basically two canvases that will be separated, but they will create one set because of the continuation in the images and you're going to see in a minute. So anyway, these are unprimed canvases. So what I need to do is just uh, prime them with some gesso. Of course you can get um, primed canvases and s skip that this step. So I just had these ones and I wanted to use them. So if you need to prime a canvas then you just add the gesso on it and let it dry. That's basically when you buy them in the store and they're primed they're basically covered with gesso. So I'm doing that and I'll have to let everything dry before I continue and it's really important to prime your canvas because otherwise all the mediums that you would want to put on it will be absorbed in the fabric because canvas is actually a fabric after all. So my canvases are primed and this is the way I want them to be. And I'm going to start with some modeling paste and I'm not doing anything with a stencil. I'm just adding the modeling paste on the canvas, creating lots and lots of texture. Just little hills and valleys with the modeling paste. See? Pretty. So this is the base of my canvas and I want to let it dry with my heat tool of course. Each layer that you add has to be dried otherwise they'll all blend together and be one big mess. So now I'm going to add some tissue paper to my canvases with some gel medium and the point of doing these canvases is to create a set like I said that will basically be one photo what's well, not a photo one um, project one scene that will spread onto both canvases but they will still be separate so you're gonna see how that's gonna work so I'm just adding pieces of tissue paper to both canvases whatever is on this uh, paper I'm just tearing pieces I don't care what pattern is if it's script or musical notes or whatever is fine just adding the pieces to my canvas so all of this is basically the base, the background that we're creating. And um, this last piece that I'm adding is slightly, it's a bit difficult to see, but it's on the part, part of it is on the textured paste that I did before. So I'm making sure that the tissue paper is really, really uh, glued into all this, the, the, the surface because it's not an even surface. So after this is dry, I'm going to take some uh, distress inks and distress stains and dilute them with some water and start painting my canvas. So you can do this just as is or you can add water if you want it to be a little bit more um, diluted and the more color you the more water you add of course the color is a bit lighter and it's basically a form of uh, you, you're creating basically a form of water colors this way and of course you can I'll show you later you can take your um, distress stain it has a, a, a dispenser on top like a sponge and you can do it directly on your canvas but at this point I just want to have more control of where my paint goes so I'm doing it with a brush and if I need more water I'm just adding with my spritzer there so you have all the colors that I've used on the list in the beginning 
and I'm adding a little bit of blue and they're all going to blend together you know that distress inks and stains blend really well together so this now I'm adding more water and some of the blue with the green it's a turquoise and it's a really beautiful color so I'm just uh, starting to paint my canvases from the bottom up making sure that I cover everything a little bit of red and I just want to make sure that it's colorful and and a good way is also to water your canvas remember we primed it with gesso this is why so if you um, water your canvas then it will be much easier for the paint to go wherever you want it to go so this was uh, distress ink and it's usually for filling your distress ink um, when they get dry but sometimes I use that ink as paint so I'm just going over the edges as well and I like to I'm using this uh, distress ink uh, and distress stains because it's um, I like the look that it has on a canvas it's kind of like a water color water based very diluted very uh, mild and not too strong but still it has nice coverage and it covers the canvas in a really nice way and the colors blend really well together so I like that too so that's why I'm using this this medium here so you can do it like I said you can do it directly on the canvas and if you feel like it's too dark or bright then you can just add a little bit of water and dilute it and if you need to clean your brush every now and then so to just, just keep the colors um, bright and nice and not too blended because you know when you take all the colors together and you just blend them sometimes it just uh, you get this ugly brown color so make sure your brush is dry and not dry is clean sorry make sure your brush is clean every time you introduce a new color so you just make sure it's it, they blend but not too blendy that's the that's what you have to keep an eye from so you see we're coming along with um, adding the colors and you can just keep on playing with this and adding more and more color wherever you feel you want to sometimes you have to go a few um, times at the same spot just to make sure there's enough paint and enough color on it and it's not too white so you go back after it's a little bit dry you go back and you add some more and I'm going to dry this because after a while there's too much um, you know ink on the canvas and you need to if you want to add more you have to make sure that your first layer is dry so I'm just adding a little bit of uh, dark blue here and there just for more accent this is turning out really nice I like it so after you are happy with your result here make sure of course that everything is dry before we move to our next step adding just a little bit more green so dry everything and I have this I'm gonna move to the next step now so I have this beautiful leaf ribbon it's actually a ribbon it's fabric and I'm gonna add this to my canvases and I'm starting to 
glue this down on the top canvas going to the bottom canvas as a as one unit now I'm just gluing it as if the, these two canvases were one unit and I'm just gonna trim here and now I'm gonna trim and cut it in between and now you understand why I said it's a set because it's actually like one scene but divided into two canvases. So I'm going to add a few more leaves here on the bottom and just a little bit more up there on the side. Okie dokie, now I'm going to bring a whole bunch of flowers and add them to. These are small prima flowers and these are all white, so they're different. They're all small, but they're different shapes. So I'm going to add color to them as well. And what I'm going to do is just add color with my distress stains, the same colors that I used on the canvas. So I'm just dabbing the stain on the flowers. And I don't really care which color goes where because they're all going to be under the same color palette. Just an easier way would be this. Just add water and blend them all in the, in the color. It's like doing laundry with color instead of water. So I'm just making sure there are no white parts, just that everything is covered. And since I'm doing them all at once, eh, I get really beautiful results because each flower gets a different amount of color. So just dry them. And I'm going to add them to my canvas. So it will be nice and happy with flowers. So I'm just adding them randomly next to the leaves. Adding all different sizes of flowers. And as you can see, they're all also different colors because each of them got different amount. Some are more red and some are more blue, some are darker, some are lighter, so that's kind of a fun technique to give color to all the flowers at once and still get nice uneven flowers. So I'm adding a few of the aqua flowers as well. And the fun thing about doing canvases is you can add so much stuff that is 3D you don't need to keep it nice and flat like you would do in an art journal page or something because canvas you can everything can be very high all your embellishments and stuff and I'm gonna add um, these cute little um, stems and I'm gonna add them in between as well They're so small, but they add more texture, and I like using them. So just glue them down wherever you want. I think I'm going to bring my tweezers. It's going to be more comfortable to arrange them. These little tiny flower centers. It's going to be easier with the tweezers. So just adding a few more up there. So basically we're doing this one on top of the other, the two canvases, 
Of course, if you decide that you want to do them side by side, that's also possible. Um, it's up to you. So I'm just adding a few more flowers at the bottom. And I'm going to bring in uh, my wood f uh, butterfly. It's kind of a wood um, shape. And I broke its tentacle, but we're going to glue this later. Don't worry about it. So anyway, I'm going to add color to it with the same distress stains. I'm just adding all the colors, no particular or specific pattern, just adding the colors. And I'm going to add the photo vintage distress stain on the edges because you know I like to ink in everything and this gives it so much more definition and so I'm adding this. And I'm going to glue this down on my uh, top canvas here. So I'm going to glue this down. Initially I thought that m I might add some a quote or whatever or something like that. But then I decided I like this piece just as it is. With no... Uh, writing or a quote of some sort so I'm gonna do some perfect pearls now and basically I've shown you this technique before and I really like it when you water your brush with water and you dip your brush into the perfect pearls then you get a paste sort of a color that you can add onto whatever surface you want and you get a really nice paint a very shimmery paint because perfect pearls has shimmer in it so I really like using it it's you get a nice effect so I'm adding it to the butterfly to the flowers and I'm using uh, gold and I'm also going to use a sort of a copper or bronze and you just dip your brush you just make sure it's wet and then you you can apply it to your canvas or whatever and if you need more water then you just do what I do and create a pool of paint on the side and just a few drops of shiny gold shiny gold droplets onto my canvas here so I really like that and I'm gonna bring in my bronze now and I'm just gonna add it to the gold mix everything together with some water see it's a really nice effect so I'm going to add that too. Just with your brush you go over whatever items and embellishment you want. And I'm going to do all the edges now. To give it just a little bit more oomph. I love that word. It's a really funny word. And I'm not going to do the middle. Just the, the outer edges of both canvases. So, I'm going to go over all the edges with my brush. See how everything just pops up immediately? It's really gives it a little bit more framing and definition. So, just a few more final touches on my two canvases. And I can say I'm really happy with how it turned out and I really like it. I'm going to move everything and show it to you. This is the double canvas set. 
so you can do this side by side of course or one on top of the other like I did up to you and of course you can do four pieces or three pieces or you know whatever you feel like it so this is how it looks up close I'm really happy with how it turned out I had so much fun doing this you guys I hope I've inspired you and to have fun too and I want to thank everyone for joining me look at my hands isn't that fun I like dirty hands so thank you very much for joining me and I hope you had fun and create your own canvases sets and I'll see you all next time bye you guys <music>